Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been about a month and a half, maybe two months, since we originally cut the corn maze. And I just kind of wanted to show you our progress on it. So this is that whole entrance that I showed you last time. It all grew up. You can see that the corn grew up. So we're going to end up coming through here again with the lawnmower and just cleaning it all up so it looks all nice and ha we'll have a nice entrance. Earlier this week, we cut the small maze, or trimmed the small maze, so you can see it has a what, nice wide path. We still need to go through with the lawnmower still and uh, clean up the weeds that are growing up. But the sides have all been trimmed, and now we just need to run the lawnmower through it and really make it nice. So tonight we're going to focus on the big maze. I already started on it. You can see all the fresh leaves on the ground. But we like to make a nice wide path. We don't want people being hit in the face as they're walking and everything. So we actually go through with a machete the entire maze and we trim it so that we have a nice path made out of it. Then once we do that through the entire maze, then we'll take the lawnmower through here again, and we'll uh, kind of chew up all those leaves, the leaves, and then you can already see how much of a difference that makes. We've got a nice wide path there, and I'll show you what it looks like when you haven't trimmed it yet, just so you can get kind of a reference. This is a corner, but then this would be a straightaway without trim. You can just kind of tell how it's not neat and there's not a whole lot of walking room. So we like to trim the whole thing by hand just to make sure it's a nice path. And then once we're done, we'll end up taking the lawnmower out. But it's nice. We found to wait till the evenings like this. It gets really hot in the corn maze when it's 75 to 80 degrees outside. The corn gets even hotter in here and then you're swinging a machete on top of it so it just gets warm now another thing I wanted to talk about is I seen someone comment after the last video and was asking for a, uh, a drone a drone picture and videos of with a drone and I'm on board with that the only problem is I was uh, I actually bought a drone earlier this year with that in mind for all the videos, but the problem with that is that YouTube has a lot of policies against needing proper license for uh, droning, and so that so I'm hoping later on I'll be able to get the proper license for them, but I just don't have the license right now, so I don't want to be putting a lot of videos up with them. But hopefully I'll have the license by next year, and then we could get the video up at that point. But we'll see how that goes. Probably take that one out. that can widen that corner a little bit and as we were going through the maze that's just kind of what we do we see how it how it would look and also how night how easy it is to walk through I'm hoping that after in another month right before the maze opens I'm hoping I'll be able to get another video up showing the final product of how it looks right as we open because that's when the maze is in its best form is right when we open within the first probably the second week is when it's the nicest looking of the maze because it's the best weather but also because there hasn't been people walking through it and knocking uh, over corn stalks and so I'm hoping 
at least the week of the corn maze, I can get another video up. Like I said in the past the herd video, that uh, we're having a lot of problems getting our YouTube videos up. Our Wi-Fi is very undependable. So, I'm not, I'm hoping I'll get it up in time, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, this, I, we, we have the Highline internet going by our house, and we were, we were told it would be hooked up already, and now it's being, now they told us that in another month is what they think. So, depending on that internet is a big part of if we'll get the video up in time or not. And then once it is in, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get a more consistent schedule up instead of how it's been kind of random lately. And then another thing is as I'm trimming the maze, I'm... You can see I've been, like this one I hit, I hit the corn cob right here. It's going to fall off, but as we're trimming, I'm just trying to get the leaves trimmed, and I'm not trying to hit the cobs, because after the maze is over, we are going to be combining the corn. So the least amount of corn cobs I can hit off, the better. And then yeah, I'm really hoping that we'll get that video up just to kind of show you the progress of how it's transformed as it grew. But I think that's about all I had to say. So thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.